this now. So let me check the attendance list. So we have Abby, Yu Tong, Felice, Darren Zishen, Huayik, Yu Er, Yi Eng, Minghui, Huay Tech, and Ansley. Welcome to the class. All right. I think, why are you laughing, Yu Er? Is that your friend? Why? <laughs> you get shocked, is it? Is she your best friend or what? You are classmate. Oh, classmate. Oh, did she inform you? Did she tell you that she's also joining? <laughs> oh, <laughs> so do you do you sit together? I mean, do both of you sit together or what? No. No. So are you guys close to each other? Not very. Not very close. Not very close at all. Oh, okay. Ansley? So, yeah, that's your friend here. Ansley, do you want to introduce yourself a bit? Yeah, I can introduce uh, by telling your name and then uh, where do you study? And you can roughly like describe your friend here in simple words. Like, are you close to her? Or not really, I'm not close to her. Ansley, you can turn on your mic and say something as well. I don't know. You know what? You know what? I hate, I hate listening to the answer. I don't know. I don't like this answer. <laughs> I don't like this response. All right, but never mind. It's your first time here. So yeah, try to remember, okay, you remember that me as an English teacher, I don't like listening to the response IDK, all right? IDK means I don't know, okay? This teacher, there is also one called IDC, I don't care. Oh yeah, IDC is I don't care, yeah, correct. IDC. But I don't think you will tell this to a teacher, right? I don't care. All right. So anyway, these are the short forms, or we call this as the chat abbreviation. So you all can learn something here. It's called the chat abbreviation or the short forms. <clears throat> okay. We always use that in our messaging app. Okay. We always use this in WhatsApp or some um, instant messaging apps. So you can write, we use the chat abbreviation or short forms in our instant messaging app. So I want to have um, some of you, right? You tell me um, an example of an instant messaging app. BC is because, yeah, correct. BC is because, BB means bye-bye, right? By the way is BTW. Yeah, by the way is BTW. So yeah, you use this in instant messaging apps like WhatsApp, right? Uh, or maybe Facebook and many more like Facebook Messenger. What about games? What? Some of games can chat with other people. Or oh, some mobile games, right? Yeah, you can chat with other people. And then GG means good game. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I thought GG is like a Chinese um, chat abbreviation. I always hear people say, oh, yo, GG, okay? Yeah, I'll, I know a bit of Chinese, okay? So, <coughs> all right. So, um, am I... Some students will ask me, teacher, are you a banana? Okay, some people might not know what is meant by banana. So you all can write over here, banana, I know it's a fruit, correct? But if you're telling that someone is a banana, means you have yellow skin, okay? You have <clears throat> yellow skin, but white flesh inside. The banana inside the banana, right? It's white color in flesh, okay? You have the white flesh, right? So people tell me, teacher, are you a banana? 
means you're Chinese. Because Chinese, we have yellow or white skin? We have, yeah, you're Chinese people. We have like <clears throat> yellow skin or white skin. You, you can turn on your mic and say something, right? Minhui? So Chinese we have? Yeah, Minhui? Yellow. Uh -huh. You can say Chinese have yellow skin, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, good. So Chinese we have yellow skin, but I have white flesh inside. So means I speak English. White people... <coughs> Okay, you can learn something, right? You have yellow skin, but uh, white flesh inside. Means I look Chinese, but I don't speak your Chinese. Means I look Chinese, but I speak English. Uh, you call someone a banana. If this person is Chinese, but he or she doesn't understand Chinese, then you call him, a, call him or her a banana. Okay, a banana is a person who look Chinese, but he or she speaks English only. Ah. So I am not a banana. I am not a banana. I can speak Mandarin perfectly, just like all uh, just like how you all do, right? Because I come from SJKC as well. Okay, right. Yeah. Fantastic, right? Okay. BRB is be right back, yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's something uh, extra for you to learn. Uh. Right, so yeah, I want to see uh, how many of you here is a banana. Anyone here is a banana? No, right? Everybody can speak Mandarin, huh? Okay, great. So Ansley, if you have any question, you can ask me, uh, right? Mm -mm. So let's begin our topic. We're going to learn some vocabulary about the bathroom. Yeah, it sounds very simple and easy, right? But actually, if you look at the words, okay, I want to ask like um, Yu Tong, hey, why are you lying down like that? <laughs> you look so less. <laughs> okay, so Yu Tong. Right, do you find any words that you don't understand from this page? Yeah. Is there any words that you don't understand? Uh, what is the deodorant? D-E-O-D-O-R-A-T. D-E-O? D-E-O. Oh, deodorant, is it? Yeah. Okay. So when you raise your hand, okay, this is your armpit or your underarm. So you will use the deodorant to, yeah, you wipe, you will actually roll the deodorant over here. Okay, so where is this? Okay, I want everybody to tell me what is this part? Arm? Arm what? What is it? I just said it. Arm what? Me. Armpit. Yeah. Armpit or underarm. Understand? Okay. So, okay, let's start with bath, bath oil. Okay, everybody, you can highlight the word bath oil. I want to call uh, each of you to answer. All right. So, let me start with Yi En. So, Yi En, you can read it out. You can say bath oil is what? Bath oil is a thin liquid with a pleasant smell that you add to the water in your bath. Okay, can you repeat one more time? It's not pleasant, it's called pleasant. Pleasant. Yeah, a thick liquid with a pleasant smell that you add to the water in your bath. Okay, so you all can write bath oil. You put the bath oil in it. Okay. Or we can call this as the uh, bath essence. Everybody can write bath essence. Okay, bath essence. In Chinese, 
essence is called Jinghua. Okay, understand? It's it actually smells really nice. Okay, this essence smells. Teacher, really you nice. are sorry, laggy. I'm sorry. Wait a uh, minute. Teacher, you are laggy. Okay, wait up. Let me um. Let me change to another server. Wait a minute. Okay, let me use another internet server. <laughs> okay. Can you all hear me right now? Yes. Yes, right? Yeah. Okay, great. So you all can write pleasant means good. You all can write pleasant means good. Okay, and everybody, you can add another one. Okay, wait up. Huh? I use a red one. It's called the bath bomb. You all can write bath bomb. B-O-M-B -B bomb. I show you what um how does a uh, bath bomb look like? This round, this circle. Ah, huh? ah yeah, it. You don't say circle. You say it's round. Okay. If you put in the water, it will. How to say it? Uh, it will, it will release the bubbles. Is it? Yes. Yeah, it will release the bubbles. So these are called the bath bombs. Yeah, this one. Understand? Ansley, have you seen this before? Bath bomb? Did you just now? I thought it was ice cream. No, it's not an ice cream, okay? It's a bath bomb, okay? Ansley, do you know what is this? Bath bomb? Or this is the first time you see it? Yeah, you can say, this is the first time I see it. Or, yeah, I know this. Oh, it's your first time to see it. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. So that's the bath bomb. Okay. And another one, okay. Can I have like, you, or you can try to read. What is, what is this? Be that. Be that. Be that. Yeah. Be that. So what is a be that? Can you tell be that is? A plan of sink beach on China ball to wash your bottom. Do you know where is wash your bottom? The people. <laughs> yeah, correct. Okay, to wash your bottom or to wash your backside. Everybody can write. Wash your bottom is like wash your backside. <clears throat> okay, understand? If you want to use a very root word, pig, right? It's called ass. But you don't use the word ass, okay? It's very rude if you say ass. Okay? Understand? To wash so your so butt. Sometimes I use B U T. Oh, to wash your butt? Oh, yeah, you can say butt also. B U T T. Actually, it comes from the word buttocks. Okay, to wash your buttocks. Okay, right. But, you know, be that it could also be um, long, right? You hang it on the wall. Actually, you can have the bead that hangs on the wall also. Understand? Yeah. Also, this is my year. Uh, no, this one is a special lesson that I gave you. So you have to print it out. It's not in your book. My mom, my mom didn't send me the, the paper. Really? Oh, never mind, never mind. Um, can I send it to you again? Let me um send it to the group again, okay? <clears throat> Do you have a printer at home, Yutong? Yes, I have. Oh, okay. Wait a minute, huh? So maybe you can listen first. Can you? Yeah. And then you can write down some words that you know, okay? Right, great. So next, can I have like, um, Felice, can you tell us what about the third one? Plan. Yeah, blind. I thought blind is an adjective. I'm blind and cannot see. But it's a noun, eh? Right? So can it's you tell what is it? It's yeah. a window blind. Yeah, the window blind, correct. Everybody can write window blind over here. Can you explain to us what is a blind? You can say blind. The covering of a window that moves up and down. Correct. So the window blind. Everybody can write window blind. 
Okay, I show you on the right hand side. Okay, the window blind. This one. You sure I have. Oh, you have it. Oh, yeah, be behind you, Tong, right? Correct. It's not the curtain. Okay, the window blind, it moves up and down. Okay, you can actually pull something and it goes up or it goes down. Okay, get it? <clears throat> that moves up and down. All right, great. Okay, so I want to skip this. All right, brush your teeth. This is very easy. This is a phrase. What is phrase? Phrase is a, okay, a phrase is made of two or more words. It's called phrase. To rub your teeth with the toothbrush to get rid of. Okay, you can circle the word get rid of. Okay, it means to remove or to eliminate. It means like chi chu in Chinese, okay? To remove any bits of food stuck in, on or between them. Okay, to remove the food stuck in your teeth. So we need the toothbrush to, uh, we need to brush our teeth, right? Okay, what about this thing? Okay, uh, in Chinese, it's called ya xian. How do you call ya xian in English? Anyone but anyone here knows it? Yes. What is it? Floss. Floss, correct. Floss your teeth. Everybody, you can, you, you can write over there. Okay, it's called floss your teeth. You sure my mom, my mom used like a, I put water inside and you turn on the water, you splash on your teeth and uh, make the, the food on your teeth and like uh, wash it. Oh, to remove it, right? To remove yeah. the food stuck in your teeth. Yeah, I know it. Um, I have it also. Later, I show you. Okay. But before that, I write floss your teeth with the dental floss. Everybody can write. Okay, dental floss means ya xian. Okay, you need to floss your teeth. Okay, get it? Yeah, so I want to ask Zixian, do you floss your teeth or no? Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes, right? Very lazy, right? Me too. I'm also very lazy to floss my teeth. Understand? <clears throat> yeah, just now you told what you told said is this. Electric um so brush. What is it? No. Uh what is that? Huh? I need to uh yeah, it's called this, okay? Electric mouthwash water floss. Okay, wait up. Uh. Yeah, everybody can write this. It's called water flosser. Can you see on the right-hand side? Water flosser. Okay, you can write water <coughs> flosser. <coughs> yeah, this one. Let me show you the, or the water jet irrigator. Okay, wait, uh, let me show you that. Okay, everybody can write it in your paper. Also, okay, it's called the water irrigator for teeth. Okay, come. Everybody can write water flosser. You can write water flosser. This is how the water flosser or the oral irrigator work. Okay, you all can write water flosser or this oral irrigator. Ah, let me show you this. Sorry, yes. Huh? Crispy on the outside. Well, it's tooth decay and gum disease. Others use them because they make it easier to clean around braces, bridge work, and implants. So Some choose them to help control periodontal disease. There are several styles available. We'll be happy to recommend one for your needs and show you how to use an irrigator correctly. Irrigator. First, fill the reservoir with lukewarm tap water according to the magazine instead. 
Choose the best tip for your oral condition. If you're using a regular tip that's designed for rinsing below the gum line, place it against the tooth. Okay, you can write over here, <clears throat> you have the water flossing and string flossing. Lah. Okay, now we are using this water flosser. Okay, right. You can write water flosser, ah, this one. Okay. So this is the toothpick. Oh no, what happened to my room? Sorry. So this is the water flosser, or we call this as oral irrigator. <clears throat> Wait up. Uh. How to how to close it? Press the back and oh. Ah uh, yeah, never mind. I closed it already. So you all can write. Okay, my mom used Atomy water flosser. Oh nice. Yeah, you all can write over there. Now we don't really floss our teeth. You can say use the water flosser. Uh, if you want to buy it, you can. Or you call this as oral irrigator. Water flosser or oral irrigator. It's much safer because it won't hurt your gum. Understand? It's so much better than the string floss. Okay? You can learn a new word. It's called water flosser. <clears throat> mm -mm. Right. <clears throat> okay, next. I want to have uh, Min Hui. Can you um, tell us what is the next one? Bubble bath. What's bubble bath? Uh, me way? Yeah. What is meant by bubble bath? Uh, take liquid that make a soft from when you add to the water in your bath. Mm -mm. A thick liquid that makes a soft foam. Okay, bubble bath. Okay, basically bubble bath is your body shampoo. Okay. You can write body shampoo. It's the same as body shampoo. Teach you when I was five or six, every time I use a soap food in the water and mix it, it made bubbles. That's a waste. You put the whole soap into it. Not all, uh, just uh, like half. Uh. Half? Uh? Half is still very wasteful, eh? okay? Right, you don't put half of it, right? Yeah, you don't do that, okay? So, right. <clears throat> oh yeah, and one more thing. I know in Chinese, right? When you go to the dentist, yeah, your mom will always say "si ya, si ya, si ya." Right? It's not wash your teeth. Okay, I teach you another word. It's called scaling. Okay, <clears throat> I went to the dentist. <clears throat> To do scaling. Okay, scaling. Y'all can write. Scaling means, what is it? I want to ask Abby, what is meant by scaling? Scaling. Just like this. Uh, not really. You, you go to the dentist, right? Then they will do the scaling for you. What is scaling? Is, that, is it like buya or si ya? Buya. Yeah. Oh, buya is called feeling. Yeah. See ya. See ya, yeah. All, all right. Everybody can write. Scaling means see ya. See ya too. So sometimes your teeth, right, got the plaques. Okay. Wait, uh, let me draw the your teeth, okay? So these are your teeth. Sometimes when you brush your teeth, correct, it's still there. Because it's stuck for too long already. So sometimes huh, you have something that is stuck over there. All these 
we call this as plex. You all can write this plex. Okay, we do scaling to remove or to get rid of the plex. Uh, teacher, can I draw something on her teeth? Because I don't know why is it that uh, my mom wears it on her teeth. Oh, you mean braces? Yes. Oh, your mom wears it? Uh? When I was five, she started wearing the brace. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, y'all can write over there. Uh, this thing, right, it's called dental braces. Okay. Bang ya, is it? Yeah, we call this as braces. You say, uh, I wear dental braces. Uh, yeah, we call this as braces. So we want to straighten the teeth because the teeth is like very messy, correct? Very crowded. Uh, understand? If your teeth are crowded and then very messy, it looks ugly, right? It doesn't look nice. So you will have the dental braces, okay? But we have the plaques also. Everybody has plaques. Understand, Darren, do you have plaques? Sometimes got, right? Do you have plaques? Yeah, uh, Felice, thank you for showing us. Uh. <laughs> so brave, you show everybody your teeth. That's disgusting, okay? So we do scaling to remove the plaques. You all can write plaques. Plaques is like, um, okay, you can write plaques is like the stubborn residue stuck inside. Very stubborn. You brush also, it's useless. You cannot get rid of that. Okay, we do scaling to remove the plaques. Understand? You need the machine to drill the to drill the uh, plex. You all can write. Use a uh, drill. Okay, you need to drill the plex. What is drill? Okay. You know, drill is... Uh, like, it's like drill the plex. It's like drill the plex. Because ta tai in there, like a plex ta tai in there. So we need to drill the plex. Drill the plex is really tong. Drill the plex is Um, niao hen xiao sing o, then ti xiao hen xiao sing o. If pu xiao sing the hua, ta drill down ni the gum de ma, then ni hui bleed la, ni hui liu shui. So, naga den ti xiao hen xiao sing la. Ah, because yo si es ho hui drill down ni the. Yaro, it's called gum. Then Tajue Liu Shui. Ah. So that one, you got ulcer, is it? Ulcer is like, like a uh, ulcer. Okay? All right. If suddenly we all talk like a dentist right now, is it? We talk like a dentist. <laughs> okay, so next. Um, can I have like quiet? Can you tell us what about the next one? Deodorant. Huh. Uh, deodorant is? Deodorant is a substance, substance? That, mm -hmm. substance that you put on your body, especially under your arms, so that uh, it will not smell unpleasant. 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 Yeah, okay. Everybody, you can write deodorant is a substance. What is substance? In Chinese, substance is called wu zhi. Okay, deodorant. So you put on your body. So you have the spray one, the spray deodorant or the roll on deodorant. Y'all can write. You have the spray. Or the roll on deodorant. Okay, spray is like ni yong lai pen, and then roll is like you roll it. So, because some people we have this Chinese is called hu chou wei, right? In Chinese, it's called body order. It's so smelly, okay? <laughs> or sometimes you sweat. 
Anybody here uh, see anyone sweat under their arms before? Anyone? Sweat so under what? Over here. You have like when people raise their hand, right? Then you can see the sweat all over here. I have. <laughs> huh? You have a... <gasps> you? No, la, I'm just joking. Okay, because I also had this la, when I was 13 years old. All right. You? No, la, I'm just kidding. So... We, it's very normal. So you need to apply the deodorant. Okay, everybody can write over there. <clears throat> apply. What is apply? Apply means 使用. Okay. Apply the deodorant. <laughs> All right, Zixuan, do you have it? Do you have body order? No. I still don't have. You still don't have lah. <laughs> or maybe you cannot feel it. Okay, so you say yeah, last time I I raised my hand up and my mom said, "You you are stand." Oh, you mean the sweat? Is it? Yeah, <laughs> right. You apply the deodorant to, you know, uh, remove the body odor. Okay, or to uh reduce. Reduce is 减少. Understand? 减少狐臭味. Okay. <clears throat> You apply the deodorant to reduce the body of <sighs> body. You don't say body smell. You say body odor. O d o u r. Wu chou wei. It's called like a very. You can say it smells unpleasant. Okay, body odor. It smells unpleasant. Means 不好闻很难闻 Okay, 很臭的意思 Okay. Right. Ah. So um anyone here has deodorant at home? I want to see how many of you got deodorant. You tong oh, do you use it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Police? Eh? Do you have deodorant at home like Rexona? I don't know. You don't have it? Wait, uh, I, I try to find whether I have it or not. Okay, I'm bad. Right, so what am I holding here is this Nivea. Deodorant. It's okay, I can just uh spray it, but it's very expensive, so I don't want to waste it. Lah. Okay, understand? Yeah, this is the ring is very small, just like this. Oh, then I think yours one is the roll-on one, right? Roll yeah, on. Yeah, my dad did. Oh, your dad use it. Yeah, you share it with your dad. Sit in here. Oh, really? Oh, I saw it. Then Zishin, do you share the deodorant with your father? Do you share it? No. No, it's disgusting if you share it. <laughs> right? I have, I have deodorant. My mom gave me one. She used it before, but now she doesn't use it. Right? Also, the circle one and the ball one. Ah, yeah, the circle one with the ball on top, right? Yeah, that one is called the roll-on deodorant. My mom also gave me the spray one. <laughs> oh, the spray one, yeah. You keep using it, then you can uh, remove it. Lo. Okay. <laughs> Right, Yeo, do you use it? No? Do you use deodorant? Sometimes. Or you don't have it? You are. Just want to check with you. Do you use I it? I use it sometimes. Uh, you are? What about you? I don't use it. Oh, but do you have one at home? Deodorant? Yes. Yes, who uses my mom, it? My mom and dad use it. Share. Oh, they share one now. Yes. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, sometimes you can... Yeah, because you don't want to waste money, right? So you share one. No? Because one is also quite expensive, uh, this one. Like 18 ringgit for one. Uh, like very my mom never tell me how much it costs. You can go to uh, any shop... And check the price. 
<laughs> you can check the price there. Okay. And then what about the next one? Okay. Ansley, can you re um can you tell us what is flush? Flush? Flush is to well, yeah, to make a lot of water pass through a toilet to wash away the waste. Okay. You everybody you can write flush the toilet. Right, you flush the toilet to, um, what is it? Flush the toilet bowl after you, you know, finish your number one or number two. What is number one and number two? Xiao bian. Number one is xiao bian. Number two is da bian. Okay, I understand. Sorry for my, uh, for my um foul language. Okay. <laughs> no, did you, oh. Every time when I was chatting with my friend, my friend was like, would say, oh, I'm going to put P or P or, or P. Oh, poop or P. Ah, yeah, you can say, if you want to make it uh, more polite, you can say flush the toilet after number one or number two. Number one means you pee, okay? After peeing or after pooping, okay? Or number two. Number two means pooping. Understand? Pee or poop. Okay, get it? You flush the toilet after number one or number two. Ah, you learned something right. Yeah, great. And then what if the, the stool, okay, we say stool. Stool or the feces. Okay, if let's say Chinese, I know. Chinese hall, we always know one word, right? Which is shit. Tapian is called shit, correct? So another word for shit, it's called stool or feces. You all can write. Stool, feces or shit, like S-I-H-I-T, shit. Sometimes it cannot go, ma. You have the shit stain uh, on the toilet bowl, correct? It's like, you know, like, like the like toilet bowl. Then you, how, like you cannot flush it, ma. you try to flush also cannot go away, right? The stool stain or the sheet stain ah, on the toilet bowl. So what will you do? Ah, so what do we use that thing? We use the brush. Ah. Can you say, teacher, I heard a cuss word called sheet. Yeah, I know. I, I say it. Because I know if I say stool or feces, maybe you all don't understand. So I use a very simple word called sheet. So <clears throat> what do we use? Okay. Wait, huh? So over here, I'm going to ask Bing how to get rid of sheet stain. I asked the Bing how to get rid of sheet stain. Okay, let's see. Huh? How do the check? Ah, uh, you say poop stain. Can you see it? Yeah. So what is it? What is the tool? Okay, let me see. Uh, what is the tool? Okay, wait a minute. Who used to remove poop stain? Okay, wait a minute. Can you see on the right hand side? You won't focus on the right. Huh? What tool is used? So you all can write scrapper. Okay, you all can write scrapper. Ah, uh, don't don't vomit, ah, uh, you are. Okay, so <laughs> I saw you cover your eyes. Okay. Scrapper. Y'all can write scrapper picture. Okay. Mm, I Teacher, do you play scrapper before? Huh? What? Do you play scrapper before? Grammar? What is what grammar? Scrabble. Oh, scrapper. You want me to show you the picture, is it? Wait, huh? Oh, do I use that before? Uh? Of course, yes. 
the, the toilet scraper, you all can write toilet scraper. It's not the toilet brush, okay? Wait, uh, this one. Uh, you can call this as the toilet scraper or the toilet brush. Everybody can write toilet brush. Okay, or toilet scraper. Understand? Write it yourself. Huh? This is the toilet brush or the toilet scraper. Uh, you write over there. Or toilet, over here. Can I, to remove the poop stain. Here, ah, toilet, toilet scraper, or toilet brush. You can also say toilet brush. Okay, what about like a like, if let's say it cannot go la, then what do you use? You use the plunger. Okay, seat ma tong the naga. What is that? This one. Ah, uh, you all can write over here. This thing. Ah, uh, zhishen. What is this? Zhishen. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Teacher, why you open Shopee? Why not Shopee? This one. How do you call this? Zhishen. In Chinese. Huh. Say in, uh, in, in English, what is it? Plunger. Plunger, yeah. You all can write plunger is used to clear the blockage in the drain or in the pipes. Okay, you all can write plunger. You can write plunger to unclog the toilet. You can write unclog means uh like okay. Unclog. You all can write uh, Unclog a toilet. You use the plunger to unclog the toilet. Unclog is clock is to say unclog is pull out to say. Understand? Yeah. Can I? Ah, uh, Minhui. Mm -hmm. So you all can write this. It's called plunger. Okay. Ah, uh, another word for you. You can write the word plunger, P-L-U-N-G-E-R, to unclog. Um, wait, I want to ask uh, Ansley, can you remember what's the word again? What do we use the plunger for? Ansley? Ansley, can you still remember what did I say or what the Google said? Uh, what do we use the plunger for? To unclog? Yeah, what is it used for? Plunger? Yeah, can you read this? Yeah, Ansley, can you hear me? Yeah, can you tell me what this uh, plunger used for? Unclog? Uh huh. Other ones? Yeah, again, please. To unclog the toilet. Yeah, to unclog the toilet. Do you know what is that in Chinese? Fang zi. Zu sai, right? Yeah, do you know how to write the Chinese word fang zi zu sai? Yes, right, you know how to write it, huh? Okay, good. <clears throat> good. Yeah, correct, zi xuan, thank you. Next, daring way, what about this? Can you read another word, this one? Lu fa. Lu fa. Yeah, huh? it's sir. A, a long hard. Rough, rough thing that you can wash yourself with. Mm -hmm. Long, hard, rough thing. Do you know what is a lufa? You know, lufa, it looks like a flower. And then you can use the lufa to scrub yourself. Yeah, Darren, do you know what is that? Oh, yeah, 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 correct. 
Why well, I like your expression, ah, like oh, I knew it. Okay, so lupa is like you know, it looks like a flower around thing that you can actually like brush your body with. Yeah. Okay, you don't don't overreact. Okay, you are you are overreacting. Okay, sure, last time uh, I used it before that I don't know how to use. <laughs> So lufa, okay, everybody you can write lufa, you use the lufa to scrub your body. Everybody can write scrub your body. Uh, mo, mo sa or mo ta. Scrub your body. Or you can write another word, okay. You use lufa to scrub your body or you can write to exfoliate your dead skin. Exfol exfoliate okay let me teach you a new word it's called exfoliate your dead skin what is dead skin si understand oh yeah to exfoliate your dead skin it's also for your pumice stone it's also for this pumice stone later we will look at it okay exfoliate means like uh more okay yeah Get it? Qi tu si pi. Exfoliate. It's like mo, mo sa. In Chinese, it's like mo sa. Understand? Uh -huh. And then nail brush. It's a small brush for cleaning your fingernails and toenails. Nail brush. Okay. I skip this uh, nail brush. And then another one, um, can I have like five tech? Can you tell us what is this? This is called pumice stone. Can you repeat? Five tech. Um, pumice stone. Mm -hmm. a, piece the... of, a piece of light stone with a rock surface that you can rub your skin with to make it so smooth. Smooth, yeah, correct. So do you want to see the pumice stone? Okay, let me show you the pumice stone. So pumice stone, we use pumice stone to exfoliate our, uh, our skin. Okay, so this is the pumice stone. How to use pumice stone, okay? Can you see? To remove dead skin. Understand? Yeah. So... Where is the, ah, this is the pumice stone. Understand or not? This one. Okay, get it? So exfoliating. Can you see the word exfoliate over here? Ah, so exfoliate is like more. Okay, more. Understand? More ta, okay? Exfoliate your dead skin. So you use this pumice stone, no? It's very rough, okay? Too, too the. Understand? Yeah. Here, pumice stone. Can, right? Uh -uh. So, and then the next one, okay. Another one, okay. I want to have, uh, who else I haven't called yet? Um, Yutong, uh, I haven't called Yutong, right? Okay, Yutong. Next one, razor. Razor, a tool, a tool with a sharp blade. That is used for shaving. Yeah, everybody can circle the word shaving. So, shaving is tea. Okay, razor is tea tao. Understand? You use the razor, okay, to shave your beard. Okay, to shave your, what is it? Why tech and why since both of you are, oh, sorry, I missed out Darren also. So, we have three boys here. Why tech, why and um, Darren. So maybe five years later, okay, Darren, Hoi and Hoi Tech, five years later, you need to use this already. <laughs> yeah, you will start growing beards. Actually, I see my dad use it before, but now he never used it. Before. I don't know why. <laughs> maybe he's lazy. Okay, you can write to shave your beard. You all can write to shave your beard. Okay, beard is hu zi. Oh, 
。没有，是讲女生会讲一点点胡子啊。Yeah, sometimes girls we also have a little bit of a beard. I also have a bit beard. Okay, to shave, but I don't want to shave it lah because when you shave it, then it gets longer. So to shave your beard or mustache, or mustache, mouse. I remember my dad. The beard is very very short, right? It looks like, but my mom every time use uh something, then uh pull it out and、oh, and then grow it back. Yeah, or、oh. grow a little bit. <laughs> yeah, correct, correct. So, okay, where is your beard? Your beard and mustache. Mustache is over here. Can you all see it? Mustache is over here, and then beard is over here down there. Understand? Over here is your beard. And up there is a mustache. Understand? Hmm. <laughs> Ken, right? Ansley, since you're new here, so you're pretty quiet. So you will get used to it, one lah. That you see, like Yu Tong, he just uh, she just came here like not long ago, but she's really like very talkative. <laughs> but she's a good thing, right? <clears throat> yeah. So that's the mustache. Okay, Yu Tong. Yeah. Mustache, and another one. Okay, uh, Yi En, right? Uh, did I miss out anyone? Oh, yeah, Zhishen. Ah, sorry. Uh, can I have Zhishen first? Okay, what about this scales? Scales. The meaning of scales is a flat object that shows you how he heavy you are when you stand on it. Yeah. Do you know what is a scale? Like a weighing scale. Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. A flat、oh, object. Ah, weight scale, correct. So、mm -hmm. you all can write scales, or you can write weighing scales. Or it could be a dumbbell. Okay, 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 dumbbell. Okay,
yeah, this is your waist. You say you, if you hold your waist, still got empty space, right? Then you are, uh, your bone is big. Okay. <laughs> right. So everybody, you can write over there. Uh, wait, obese or overweight? Over, obese is tai guo pang liao, tai fei liao, okay? Fei dao ni bu neng zou lu na chong, okay? Obese. Okay, right? <laughs> so, Darren, are you obese? Are you obese or you are just average? I think I am average. Average, ah, okay. Average means zhongden or fit. Okay, average means zhongden. Okay. Can Every time my sister tell me, then you need to gain weight. Oh, you need to lose weight. Yeah, everybody yeah. can write. Lose weight is gain weight. What about to eat more, 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 if you lose weight, it's very hard to lose weight. If you gain weight, it's very easy. Yeah. It's very hard to lose weight, but very easy to gain weight. Right. Oh, that's why do you agree That's why my mom bring to the, the mountain, climb the mountain, and, and after I go home and I check and I scale my weight and uh, I lose one kg. Oh, you lose one kg. Nice. Yeah. You don't really say scale your weight. You say weigh myself okay weigh myself means 称体重, 称自己, it's called weigh i weigh myself you right i weigh myself is 我量自己的体重. or i stand on the scale okay i weigh myself means 我量自己的体重. i stand on the scale okay i need to buy a new scale or you say, ah, yeah, this skill spoil already la. Right? Sometimes you don't believe ma. Ah, yeah, this chen huai diao liao la. We man you jiang bei, okay? Right? In Chinese, correct? Ah, yeah, this skill spoil already. Okay, spoil means huai liao su da ruo sa. Okay, we say spoiled. Ah, so so the, my the ah ma jiang oh, this weight is already so so liao. Ah, yeah, you say spoil already. Or you can say this skill is not working. Okay, it's not working means uh until like fire. Okay. Understand? Can all? Right. Ah, so you all can learn a lot of new words, right? Ah, good. Ansley, did you learn something? Got right? Okay, Ansley, you you can tell us uh maybe like scale of five. Scale of five points. So how many things, how many words have you learned? Like you four points, five points, five out of five, or four out of five, three out of five. <coughs> so what is it? Huh? Zishin. Yeah, Zishin, five out. Oh, nice. Yes. The rest of you, eh? You can show me your fingers. Four, five, or oh, ten. Ah. Wow, seriously, ten. Ah. Ten out of five. Ah. Wow, thank you. Ah. Ah, so, got a lot of things you learn, right? Nice. One. Five is the full one. Okay, why you give ten? <laughs> okay. Five is the full. You're nice. You are five, right? Great. Sure. Sometimes yeah. I, I, look, I look not very fat, but if I. Do this the huh? Do a very fast. I do this the huh? Okay, if I do this, is enough. Okay, you say this one is called double chin. Double chin. Yeah, you earn. Uh, do you have double chin? Do you have double chin? You try to like move your head to the back. Yeah, but double earn, chin I is very it. easy. Easy right? to show. It's called double chin, right? Ah yes, Felice. Eh, Felice is very thin, so she doesn't have it. Okay. Yu Tong, you should. Zhao Gu Ni De Xing Xiang. What do you say that? Zhao Gu Ni De Xing Xiang. You say you should take care of your image. 
照顾一下你的形象，你还 if, if I don't want to show my double chin，、right. I need to like this。Oh, nice! You take care of your image, huh? You all can write. 形象 is called image. Ah,、uh, no image are you? Okay, 没有形象了啊。Uh, so take care of your image, right? Abby, do you take care of your image? <coughs> yeah.、Mm -hmm. So another one, shampoo. I can skip this, huh? To wash your hair with your shampoo. What is the opposite of shampoo? Con. Can somebody tell me? Conditioner. Conditioner, correct. Okay, Zhishan. So you all can write the opposite for shampoo is conditioner. So what is the conditioner used for? We use conditioner to smoothen. Okay, smooth. Our hair. You make it to what? Yeah. You must add e n. Ah,、uh, add e n. It becomes a verb. 动词，弄滑我们的头发。Smoothen our hair. Conditioner. Yeah, we use conditioner for frizzy hair. So what is frizzy? So if you look at my hair, um, it's a bit frizzy. Okay, like it get get like shock, feel like a 头发 like, 好像 like electric shock, and then 有一些 spring 出来这样子啊 So it's called frizzy. Frizzy hair means 干燥的头发 Okay, 干燥 Okay, how to write 干燥啊 I don't know how to write 干燥 Okay, I think it's this one ah,、uh, frizzy or dry hair. Okay, ah,、uh, so that's why we need to straighten our ah.、Uh, yeah, thank you. Okay, Zhishan, correct or my oh, Minhui is just thirty kg ah.、Uh. Minhui, you need to eat more. Okay, I'm twenty. But this is twenty, ah.、Uh, seriously, you need to eat more. You need to gain more weight. Okay, can or not, Felice? My best friend says she eat a lot, but but she looks very skinny. Oh, then maybe she needs to take the deworming solution. What is deworming solution? <coughs> deworming medicine. What is deworm? D De is 不要 worm is 虫 Right, the warming sol solution means uh, what is that ah?、Uh? Chinese uh, 排那个蛔虫药，蛔虫药。Do you know what is 蔚虫药 Um, it's like maybe your the body ha、啊、有那个蛔虫，有那个 worm 在里面，那个 tap worm. Then we must drink that medicine to deworm it. Then that worm ha will come out of your body. Then that worm ha will come out of your body. Then 那个虫哦会从你的大便出来那边啊 ，so it's called deworming medicine. If let's say 你吃很多 ，and then after that 你还是很瘦，你吃很多吧，还是很瘦。Why? Because 那个虫吃你的食物 ，so that's why 你才不会肥。So is it a good thing to have worms inside your body? Of course not. You need to take the deworm. 老师，那些虫是从哪里来的？你吃肮脏的东西咯 ，maybe 你的食物有 worm 在里面，啊，哦 ，maybe 你没有洗手，你的手有那个虫，啊 ，baby 虫啦 ，you cannot see it， you eat it， then got worms inside 咯。The、啊、chicken one time I forgot to wash my hand because that time my dad got COVID and I take his plate in and I forgot wash my hand and I go to eat. And I got COVID. You have to take the deworming medicine maybe like ah、uh, once a year or twice a year. 一一年两次哦，一年一次 Understand? Yeah. So, uh huh. 回哦 ，Thank you, Ah Zhishan. Ah,、uh, thank you, my Chinese teacher, right? Zhishan. <laughs> 回虫药 is called ah、uh, deworming medicine. Okay. So another one shave I can um skip this shave is like tea. Tea 胡子的 tea. All right to remove hair. Okay, understand? Ah, 排呃去除毛发 Okay, understand? To remove the hair that grows on his face. Okay, or you can say to remove the facial hair. Okay, get it? Actually, men or women also can use it. 
okay, shape for man or woman. Okay, get it? Like sometimes we have the hair over here, right, Darren? Do you have hair underarm? Or you can ask your daddy, right, Darren? You can ask your daddy, Pa, can you raise your hand? Then you can see your father's uh, underarm. Lo. Ah. Or you ask your mom. Do you dare to ask your mom, Ma, Then your mom. Will... I never see my dad and mom. And my mom will... <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah, it's... but but my mom can see mine. <laughs> yeah. Don't show it to your friends. Everybody is here. Take care of your image. All right. Okay. You're a girl, okay? So, yeah. You have to shave your uh, underarm. Okay, you all can write underarm or armpit is like... Um, I don't know. Chi uh, ye xia. In Chinese, it's called ye xia. Okay, don't say karatai. <laughs> People say karatai. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, um, mama, every time um, say karate. Karate, okay. <laughs> so... It's a armpit or underarm, okay? So shower. So you can say take a shower or I shower every day. Mm. Okay, it could be a noun or it could be a verb. You say take a shower. Chong liang. Or take a bath. Understand? What about shower cap? Shower cap is like you don't want to wash your hair, right? Sometimes you don't want to wash your hair. Then you use the shower cap to cover your hair. Understand? To keep your hair dry. Understand or not? The plastic cover for your head. Okay? Understand? Get it, Zishin? Yeah. Zishin, can you read the next one? Shower cubicle. Shower cubicle. Cubicle. Again, cube. Cubicle. It comes from the word cube. Cube is like zhen fang ti. Ah. So when you go to the um well when you go to the shopping mall, you will go to the shower cubicle. Lo. Understand? Ah. Clear? A tall narrow part of a bathroom with a shower inside it, separated from the rest of the room by walls and a door or curtain. Yeah. You can say, uh, have you all gone to Sunway Lagoon before? Or um, Lost World of Tambun? I go to Sunway Lagoon before, but the some of place I never go before. Oh, really? Uh, this is called the uh, shower cubicle or yeah, this one. No? Understand? Uh, this is the shower cubicle. <laughs> it looks like a cube. It looks like a box. Ah, uh. understand? Hey, right? Ah, uh. uh, some places also got when you go to the hotel. Ah, uh, they have this shower cubicle. And then shower gel. Shower gel is the body shampoo. Also, you all can write body shampoo. And then soap dish. It's a holder for a piece of soap, okay? Remember, uh, you have the soap dish. It's like, what do you uh, put it at? Uh, Min Hui? Where do you put the soap at? Min Hui? Huh? You should sometimes... Where do you put the soap? Uh, uh, after you use the soap already, ma, then where do you put it at? Soap uh, dish. Uh, shave. Huh? Put it on the... Uh, shift. Like shift. Uh. What is shift? Uh, like the shift. Oh. The shelf. Oh, you mean the shelf, is it? Oh, mm, that's special. Do you know what is soap dish? It's like a pan, right? And then you will, like, like a soap dish, it's hanging in the wall. Soap dish. Do you know what is that? You put the fei zhao in there. Do you know what is that? It's like a like it's hanging on the wall. Do you know what is that? Ah, do you have it, Minghui? Soap dish, do you have it? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, right. Okay, great. So I faster uh, finish it. Uh. 
take a bath or take a shower. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Take a bath and take a shower. What is shower? Mm. Shower. Yeah, take a shower. Okay. Bath is like that. Like that. Ah, yeah. It's like a bathtub. Y'all can write bathtub. This is the bathtub. Bathtub. Ah, yeah. You can like lie down inside it. Uh, so this is the bathtub. Everybody can write, this is the bathtub. Yeah, I remember when I was young, we, we my family go out to play and we go to a hotel and this is a bathtub every big and me and my sister are, uh, shower, take a bath at the bathtub and my sister put the phone uh, at the shelf uh, and for the heat on me and I cry. Oh, then it must be really, really painful, right? Yeah. And then the next one is talcum powder. Okay, everybody can write talcum powder. It's like a fun. Right. After you wash, okay, often with a pleasant smell that you put on your body after you have washed and dry it. So it's like ni cha fen, talcum powder. Normally Chinese don't do that. Normally the Indians they will have talcum powder. Indian sang. Indu ren tama hui fang talcum powder. So they smell very nice. Ah, sometimes ah, when I pass by my Indian friend, right? Eh, well, I was eh, eh, Wang Yi near Kamu. Okay, because I speak Malay with my Indian friend. So, eh, Wang Yi lah. Oh, karena saya ah, uh, pakai itu talcum powder, right? Eh, suddenly I switch to Malay, right? Mm, talcum powder. It makes your skin very smooth. It makes yeah, you. Yeah, I don't understand Malay. Oh, you don't understand Malay? Never mind. Okay. You can write, talcum powder makes you fair. What is makes you fair? Cut it like Makes you look fair. You don't say makes you look white. Uh. Don't go and direct translate. Makes you look very white. Makes it look white. Then that's when you're white. Bai is like ni pee fu de bai. Don't say makes you look white. Baby powder. Baby powder. Yeah, baby powder also can. Okay. And then tile. What about tile? Tile is like your bathroom floor. You have the tile. The tile is yeah. the one. The sang the like tiles. Tile. It's your it's your sin. Uh, like this oh. This is your floor, and then this is the tile. Okay, flat square or oblong things that cover a wall of floor. It could be on your wall or floor. 可以在墙壁, the tiles, or maybe the tiles. Okay. And then we have toilet paper, toilet roll. Toilet roll is 车子. Okay, it looks cylindrical. You all can write toilet roll, it's cylindrical. Okay, cylindrical toilet roll. Cylindrical is 圆锥体. 圆锥, what about toilet paper? Uh, toilet paper. Uh. Toilet paper is usually uh, square shaped. Okay. Uh, to wipe your bottom. What is wipe your bottom? Tuck in the pee gua. Okay, that one. Tuck in the butt. Yeah, to wipe your butt. Okay, or wipe your backside. Okay. Toothpaste. Toothbrush, toothpaste, toilet rail. Okay, what is toilet rail? You put, you hang your uh, towel uh, uh, for you to hang your towel or maybe oh. your shirt. Understand? A long metal bar or a number of bars in the frame. Okay, right? Long metal bar is like a metal bar. Okay, metal bar. Uh, ah, yeah, golden. Oh, it's not golden. Yes? The different, difference of toilet paper and toilet roll. Got any difference? Ah? Mm, toilet paper and toilet roll. Wait, ah. uh, toilet paper and toilet roll. Roll difference. Okay. So I think it's the same one. La. Okay, let me see. Ah. I think it's the same one. This is the toilet roll. Okay, we are. Um, 
what's the difference between toilet paper and toy and tissue? I think tissue? toilet paper is tissue paper. Okay. Yeah. Toilet paper is the same as tissue paper. Ah. No, my it's the same one. You can write toilet roll or tissue paper. Okay, get it? Yeah, and also we have is more easy to write. Ah, yeah. And one more, uh, it's called the uh, uh wet wipes. What about wet wipes or the baby wipes? Wet. Every time it's it's wet tissue. Oh, we don't say wet tissue. Uh you can say wet tissue or you can say wet wipes for the babies. Understand? Yeah. Okay, get it, huh? Okay, so I think I will leave uh, all the other exercises, like exercise one to exercise four, you can try to do it at home. Okay. All right, Kim? Yeah, I will... Um, do you want me to discuss with you next week or you want me to post the YouTube video for you to check your answer? Uh, post YouTube video? Discuss, uh? Abby, you say discuss, uh? Anyone here wants to discuss, please tell. Uh, yeah, you can unmute yourself and tell me. You want me to discuss the answer with you? Or you want me to post the answer on YouTube? Discuss. Okay, okay. I can hear many voices. You want me to discuss it? All right, I, I need to go and pick up the food panda already. Okay, so yeah. Bye bye. I'll see you all next week. See you and goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you all. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Oh, thank you. Goodbye.